to chemistry tutorial 360 uh, today uh, we are going to determine whether urea is an organic compound or a inorganic compound many people uh, search uh, this uh, question in the google but i think they don't get the appropriate answer to determine uh, whether this is a organic or inorganic compound however you see here uh, to determine uh, this compound uh, as organic or inorganic we have to look at these rules right okay uh, a compound to be organic uh, have to follow one or, or two uh, of these uh, rules and uh, and in case uh, of inorganic compound uh, a compound must follow these rules however uh, in every organic compound carbon is mandatory but in case of inorganic compound carbon is not mandatory carbon uh, may have or haven't right or uh, in organic compound uh, carbon hydrogen carbon nitrogen or carbon chlorine direct bond uh, may, may have however but in organic in inorganic compound in case of inorganic compounds the carbon hydrogen carbon nitrogen among and uh, carbon chlorine bond uh, uh, will not uh, be present however let me uh, sh uh, examine this molecule with these rules i i hope this will uh, clear to us uh, this compound urea has carbon right so let me check so uh, carbon so uh, organic compound have carbon and uh, or, organic compounds uh, have carbon and uh, inorganic compounds has uh, have carbon so this compound uh, now may be organic or inorganic okay so we are not being uh, being able to determine now i will look at this this bond carbon nitrogen bond right i will search for carbon nitrogen bond okay so here uh, carbon hydrogen bond carbon nitrogen bond in case of organic compounds we are getting carbon nitrogen bond but in case of inorganic compound we don't have any carbon nitrogen bond so uh, since this compound has carbon nitrogen bond we can uh, say that this is organic compound i think this trick will uh, trick will help you to differentiate between organic and inorganic compounds so thank you for being this video be well